In this example, we would like to find the derivative of the fraction cube root of x squared over fourth root of x. And the idea here is to use the power rule so that this expression can be written as simply x to a power. Let's see how. So we want the derivative of the fraction in the numerator, the cube root of x squared, uh, could be written as x to the power over the root. So the power is 2, x to the power 2, and the root is 3, the cube root. So the cube root of x squared is x to the power 2 thirds. And then over the fourth root of x, the power is 1, the root is 4. So the fourth root of x is x to the power 1 fourth. And then if we have x to the m divided by x to the n, we could write that as x to the power m minus n, subtracting exponents. So in this example, we're going to have to do 2 thirds minus 1 fourth. And in order to do that subtraction, we need a common denominator, which is uh, 12. So multiplying 2 thirds by 4 over 4 gives us 8 twelfths minus, and multiplying 1 fourth by 3 over 3, gives us 3 twelfths, so that's 5 twelfths. So we want the derivative of x to the power 5 twelfths. So n is 5 twelfths. That's not clear at all from the original expression in the problem, but after doing these steps involving the properties of exponents, we see that the original expression is equivalent to x to the power 5 twelfths. And now we could use our power rule the derivative is 5 twelfths times x to the power 5 twelfths minus 1. So that's 5 twelfths times x to the power uh, 5 twelfths minus 12 twelfths is negative 7 twelfths. And writing that back in radical form, our coefficient is 5 twelfths. The negative exponent here in negative 7 twelfths, that makes 1 over x to the 7 twelfths, and then a fractional power, 7 over 12, is power over root. So 5 twelfths times 1 over, the root is the 12th root, and the power is the 7th power. So we have, putting them together, 5 over 12 times the twelfth root of x to the seventh. So that's our derivative.